Behind me is the Tesla Model Y. It's an electric crossover SUV. And in this video, we are going to test out its all wheel drive system. To do that, we're gonna put the Model Y through the TFL slip test. Basically, we get the vehicle stuck on purpose in these rollers to see if the other wheels on the ground can pull us off. Now this simulates snowy environments, maybe some sand, maybe some mud, basically just a torture test to see how capable this vehicle is when the going gets rough. The first test is called the front wheel slip test. So both front wheels are gonna be stuck in the rollers and then the rear wheels, which are on the ground, these are gonna to have to engage to push us off. Being all electric, the Tesla Model Y works pretty differently than your conventional gasoline vehicle. Now, typically your gasoline car will have an engine in the front and then a drive shaft that'll send power to the rear wheels. If you've got all wheel drive, it'll have a drive shaft and it'll also have little half shafts that send the power to the front wheels as well. But the Tesla Model Y works differently. It actually has two electric motors, one in the front and one in the back. The one in the front powers both front wheels, the one in the back powers both rear wheels. So, when I get these front wheels stuck, the rear wheels are gonna to have to engage to push us off. All right, now that I'm in the rollers, I've gone into neutral, foot off the brake, I'm gonna let the car settle, then into drive, foot off the brake, and gently onto the throttle. Okay, well, you can see there, there was no slipping whatsoever. So that tells me that that rear motor is engaged the second you accelerate. And you know, you don't need to rely on one motor to get you unstuck from the snow, for example. Hey guys, Tommy here with a little bit of a secret and something a little bit worrying. You see, every man on my mom's side of the family has some sort of male pattern baldness. And it actually turns out that they're not alone. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35 and you want to catch it before you have no hair whatsoever. You used to have to go to a doctor to get a prescription, but now thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get a prescription sent directly to your house. Keeps offers one of the only generic FDA approved hair loss products out there. And let me tell you what, you've never seen it at this price. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash TFL or click the link in the description below and receive 50% off your first order. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL. Check them out. Tesla is an interesting company because unlike every other automaker, they don't publicly release horsepower and torque numbers on their models. So this 2020 Model Y performance, I don't know what the horsepower and torque is, but it's believed to be over 500 horsepower. It's also believed that the rear motor is larger than the front motor on these vehicles. So what's gonna happen if I get both rear wheels stuck? Is the front motor gonna have enough torque to pull us off the rollers? Both rear wheels gonna be totally stuck. The front wheels are gonna have to pull us off. So I'm in neutral, let the vehicle settle into drive, taking my foot off the brake, gently onto the throttle. All right. Well, you could definitely see a difference between the front wheel slip test and the rear wheel slip test. We got a lot more spinning with the rear wheel slip test when those wheels were stuck, but still had plenty of torque with the front end to pull us off. It just took a little bit longer. Next up is the diagonal slip test. So in this test, the right front and the left rear wheels are stuck in the rollers, basically opposite ends of the car. This is very common off-road. It's also very common in the snow. If you live in a cold environment like Colorado, you drive up, maybe turn off the main road onto a snowy curb. You got opposite wheels perhaps in the snow, maybe the other two have traction. It's a great test, very applicable to real world. Now, when it comes to the snow capability of the Tesla, there's more than just the all wheel drive system. You have to rely on the traction control, the ABS, but most importantly of all, tires and wheels. Now this Tesla came to us with 21 inch wheels and summer tires basically. Horrible combination for the snow. So we swapped them out with these Martian wheels. These are a 19 inch wheel that allowed us to put a thicker tire on. These are the Michelin Cross Climate 2 tires. Much better for the snow. Uh, that's gotta be very important up on your wish list if you uh, are hoping to improve your vehicle snow performance. And then ground clearance is another issue. Not a lot of ground clearance in the Model Y. All right, seatbelt on. 
<laughs> because if I don't, the car will beep at me. And I'm sorry if the rollers are squeaky. I promise I oil and grease them before every run, but it's really hard to get every little bearing down into the tube. So my apologies on that one. But reversing on to the rollers for the diagonal slip test. In this test, what's going to happen is the wheels that are opposite stuck on the rollers are probably going to spin. And then hopefully, if the car works properly, the brace will clamp down on the spinning wheels and force power to the wheels with traction. So neutral, we're nice and settled into drive, put off the brake, gently on the throttle. Oh, yeah, very good results. It took hardly any throttle. The brakes grabbed immediately, stopped those spinning wheels, and forced power to the wheels with traction. Excellent result from the Tesla there. Time to step it up a notch, the three-wheeled slip test. Both right wheels totally stuck, the left front totally stuck. Only the left rear has traction. Now, if you're familiar with the TFL slip test, this is kind of backwards to how we typically do it. Typically, a lot of all-wheel drive vehicles are primarily front-wheel drive driven, so we'll start with a front wheel on the ground. But the Tesla, I think we've proved, is primarily rear wheel driven. So, we're gonna start with just that rear wheel on the ground. Now, if you wanna see how a more typical gasoline car performs in a three-wheeled slip test, take a look at this Camry footage. We're settled in a drive. Traction control on, off the brake, onto the throttle. Oh, it's really trying. Come on, figure it out, figure it out. Oh, very good. So I definitely felt a lot of power go to that right front and we were able to drive off even with that really challenging test. Now these electric vehicles are very cool in theory because you have so much more control with the traction control and the throttle programming on what the wheels are doing because electric motors respond instantly. You don't have to wait for revs to build. There's no transmission lag because there's really no transmission. It's direct drive. So into a reverse on the three wheel slip test. Backing up here. So much torque in the Model Y. Okay, in a neutral, let the vehicle settle. Now this does have a slip start mode, which is like a traction control off. I'm not gonna engage it. Just normal mode, like you would drive it every single day. Into drive. That left rear is traction. Let's see if it's enough. Oh, it worked really, really well there. I'll try it one more time. Okay, in a neutral, in a drive. For the final TFL slip test, both rear wheels totally stuck in the rollers. Right front stuck in the rollers, only the left front wheel is actually making contact with the ground. This is going to be the hardest test yet. All right, final test, hardest test yet for this Tesla. In a reverse, traction control system is going to be working overtime. Now, you may notice in a perfect environment, all four wheels would be at the same height. But when you're driving over snow, over ice, over some sand, the world isn't perfect. Wheels are at different heights, so I'm okay with this discrepancy. Makes it more real world. <laughs> okay, in a drive, we are nice and settled. Still a little bit of a slope here. Oh, it's working. Come on, figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. Oh, wait, we're sliding, we're sliding. Grip, grip. Nope. Not doing it here. Let me go into slip start, driving. Um, where are we at here? Slip start. So this is going to be like traction control off. It's just spinning faster. All right. Well, we did eventually get off, but that was a difficult, uh, difficult task. Now I'm going to try it one more time. Actually, we do have one more mode called off-road assist. We'll give that a whirl. Well, upon further review, I think we slipped off that time. Just basically the whole vehicle shifted and then caught the side of the roller. So not a perfect test, but definitely harder with the front wheel on the ground than the rear wheel, I'll tell you that. So I'm gonna go into off-road assist here. Kind of like the uh, off-road mode in the Model Y. We'll see if that makes a difference on the three-wheeled slip test because so far the vehicle has been pretty much breezing through all of them. In the drive, ooh, you can feel those brakes grabbing more. Oh yeah, we're shifting again. Nah, it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. <laughs> Basically, it's going, it's trying to like lurch us out of this bind. 
Hmm. All right, well, the, the front wheel slip test with the, the three wheels on the rollers definitely is less effective than when we have one rear wheel on the ground. Um, maybe I'll just cheat to pull us off because we are not going anywhere. Come on, buddy. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, almost had it. Don't want to go rocketing off. Okay, I cheated to get down, but uh, still an impressive result. You know, it's very impressive in theory what these automakers can do with these EVs because they can program power to go to pretty much any wheel they want at any time. Um, Tesla's done a good job. I mean, I'm no Tesla fanboy. I drive a 40 year old diesel Mercedes, so let's keep this in perspective. But man, I'm impressed with the future. If, if this is representative of what we can see in more aggressive off-road vehicles with torque management and uh, power distribution, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. There you have it, the TFL slip test using the all electric Tesla Model Y. Let me know how you think this vehicle performed in the comment section below. I'd love to see how this vehicle stacks up to something like the BMW X3M, maybe the Mercedes GLC 63 AMG. So when we have those vehicles here in Colorado, we'll be sure to test them on the rollers just like this Tesla. Well, as always, this has been Tommy with the Fastlane Car. Check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in new car reviews.